There's some breaking news for Canadian sports fans. The hockey jersey, and here's the, here's the paper, the hockey jersey that Paul Henderson wore when he scored Team Canada's historic winning goal in the 1972 Summit Series against the Soviets, that jersey has made history of its own. It has now fetched the highest price of any piece of hockey memorabilia ever. The final price paid by a collector after 42 bids was $1.275 million. And by comparison, previous auction records include $191,000 for Bobby Orr's rookie jersey and $250,000 for a Wayne Gretzky jersey. And Paul will join us on the line in a moment. But first, let's take a look back at that historic goal. Mark has it on that way. Here's a shot. Anderson made a wild stab for Decades after it happened, no goal in history was talked about with such passion. The goal of the century secured Paul Henderson's place in hockey lore. And Paul is a good friend of 100 Huntley Street and has often been an in-studio guest here, and he joins us now on the line. Paul, good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, what was your initial reaction to this news? $1.275 million for that jersey. <coughs> No, I was just I was telling Mel Stevens, you should have led me to the Lord uh, uh, previous to that series, and I may have given it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, I, I understand that you had long since you know, given that jersey away, and tell us the story behind it. Well, it was back in uh, 1972, there was no real interest in collectibilities like that, and so Joe Stroh was our trainer for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he was the trainer in the series and a good guy and so I uh, decided to give it to Joe as uh, you know just as a good guy and as a little tribute to him for all the work he'd done and and I really thought that I was giving him the one that uh, our, uh, the one that uh, we used in Canada and I uh, because I thought I was keeping the other one to give the I knew the Hall of Fame would probably want it and so I gave it to them and it was only in the last year that I found out that this was the one that uh, I gave Joe. So it's funny how things work out. Yeah. <laughs> now, I understand from uh, reading the, the article here that the, um, the person who wants to remain anonymous, uh, who, who purchased the sweater, is a cancer survivor. Do you think there's a connection there because we know uh, you've been having that well, cancer uh, battle? Well, that's not right. The, the guy that sold it is a, cancer, uh, is a cancer survivor. The guy that bought it is Mitchell Goldfarb. He's a uh, uh, lives in Toronto here, and he owns the Smart Centers. He's a developer, so we know who uh, it's been revealed who bought it. Okay. And uh, speaking of that, Paul, how have you been doing uh, yourself physically? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I got a little uh, setback yesterday. Went to see the person that's working with me, and uh, told me I need to slow down a bit. So I decided to uh, slow things down. There's a fine line, but I'm overall I'm doing well. I'm getting a good exercise. I just need to get a little more rest, I guess. But yeah. it's been a little hectic this uh, last few weeks. So well, uh, my Paul, wife has uh, tuned me up again and uh, yeah. taken my car keys from me. So I don't have much choice but to stay around here. Right. Well, Paul, for those who've missed your uh, interviews here recently on 100 Huntley Street, uh, let our viewers know what you're up to these days. Well, still doing the ministry uh, that we've done for years. I run the men's ministry and do a lot of speaking, obviously. Uh, and uh, right now, just uh, trying to deal with the uh, cancer. And so uh, getting a lot more rest, getting a little more exercise. And uh, actually, I'm looking on Thursday, I'm going to be over in Hamilton speaking to uh, uh, a cancer group, uh, some people that have cancer and some of their families. So I'm really looking forward to doing that at the uh, Cancer Center Thursday afternoon. All right. Well, Paul, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you'd like to watch a full interview with Paul, just log on to 100huntley.com and type Paul Henderson into the search bar there, and you'll quickly find his last interview, where he sat down with Jim Cannell on uh, early in March, I believe it was. You'll enjoy hearing his, his full personal story, I guarantee it. Also, be sure to tune in to 100 Huntley Street next Wednesday to watch another interview with Paul Henderson along with his wife, Eleanor.